Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Quantifier Please, and today I got a brand new video discussing the PlayStation 4 Pro. So, Sony had a press conference on September 7th and they announced the PlayStation 4 Pro, and I wanted to make a video basically explaining who it's for and whether or not you should go out and buy this new console. So, let's say you already have the base PlayStation 4. Uh, you definitely do not need to go out and buy this because really all this new console is, is an upgraded PlayStation 4. Uh, it has double the amount of power that the original console had, and it, it's definitely aimed towards 4K TV owners and gamers who want to be on the cutting edge of graphical technology within the console gaming community. It's going to cost you $400 to get this new console. It comes with a 1TB hard drive, and you're going to be able to play with the PlayStation 4 owners who own the base console. So, you're all in the same community, but some players will have the upgraded console, some players will not have the upgraded console. So, really, it really depends on your current situation. So, if you have not bought a PlayStation 4 previously, then you need to buy this one because you'll be up to date on the newest console that is available to you. But, again, if you already own a PlayStation 4, there is really no reason to upgrade. Unless maybe you have a 4K TV then that would be worthy, but uh, other than that, there's really no reason to, because you don't need the extra graphical capability, so to speak, because it's nothing that's going to help you in the long run, but uh, if you do have a 4K TV and you want to watch Netflix and stuff like that in 4K, then this should definitely appeal to you, but uh, that's really all, honestly, there's not a uh, 4K Blu-ray drive in this console, as odd as that may seem, but they said that was because they wanted to keep the price of the PS4 Pro down pretty low and if they would have included the 4K Blu-ray drive it would have definitely made the price go up quite a bit so that is the reason why that is not there but uh, that's really all for today's video guys so if you already have a PlayStation 4 there's no reason to buy this but if you don't have any PlayStation 4 or any next gen console this should definitely be the console that you go out and pick up or if you're on Xbox, you should go out and pick up the Xbox One S. But right now we're in a very odd spot with our console gaming. We're getting new consoles almost every two, three years now, it seems like. So we're going to have to go and see what happens with the console gaming community. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And uh, leave a like, definitely, if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later.